There are several databases that we have from EBSCOhost. Um, they are CINAHL Complete, uh, OneSearch, which you are probably familiar with, uh, Education Research Complete. There's a bunch of them, and the key thing is they all look like this. So the directions that I'm about to show you go for any database that looks even a little bit like this one. Now, remember, we are trying to generate an RIS file to import into Covidence. And it's a little bit trickier with these ones than it was with PubMed or Ovid. The first thing to note is that there is no easy way to get all of your search results into one file. It does require several steps. And so we're gonna do that right now. With CINAHL, OneSearch, all of those, they're only displaying about 50 results at a time. And so we're gonna move these results 50 at a time into a temporary folder. And then we will generate the RIS file from that temporary folder. So look for the share button over here on the right and click that. And we are gonna click results one to 50 to just move all 50 of these into a folder. So now I'm gonna click results one to 50. And you can see that that box disappeared. I now have a little section over here that says the, some of these items are in my folder. So I know that they were successfully moved over. Now I'm going to scroll down to the very bottom of this results list and look for the next button. You can see that we have four pages, so we're gonna have to do this three more times. I'm gonna click next. Again, click share. Results 51 to 100. And I would do that two more times for pages three and four. Once I've done that, and I've got everything in my folder that I need in there, I'm gonna click this link here that says go to folder view. It's going to take me to a new page to my temporary folder. You can also get to this folder if you're closer to the top of the screen by clicking on the folder button up here on the top navigation. So we have 100 articles because really I only moved over some of the search results. The key thing is I want to make sure I have all 100 of these when I generate my RIS file. I'm going to check off select all and then I'm going to come over here to the right and I'm, I'm actually going to click on the export link. I know it's tempting to click on save as file because you think, oh, I'm making an RIS file. Maybe that's the one I want. Nope, you actually want the export link. So we're gonna click on that now. And you have several options here. Fortunately, the RIS format is the first one, so we don't have to change any of this. And just to make sure, number of items to be saved, 100. So that's great. That means all of our, uh, all of our results are gonna be in this file. I also have the option of removing these items from the folder after saving. That's completely up to you. If you have a reason to keep them in there, go for it. If you wanna just clean out the folder, you can do that as well. It is a temporary folder unless you've signed in. So if you haven't signed in, uh, that folder will clear out when you close the browser anyways. So now I'm going to click save. And once again, this will generate an RIS file that I am going to save to my computer and then I will import that into Confidence. 